Oh, mummy. Look at the colour of these carrots. <laughs> I'll come closer. That's the last time you're going to see coloured carrots like this. In no, no, Tunisia, let me taste one, let me taste one, look. In Tunisia, they're like, um, these aren't the freshest ones, by the way, actually, these are the old ones, but, so I don't know what it tastes like, but these, in Tunisia, you get like orange and yellow and purple carrots, traditional coloured carrots, not like this stuff you get in England that's like lost half its they colour. They taste really nice, they taste a bit stronger than normal carrots in England, but and anyway, a bit sweeter. I'm making like a big Tunisian stew with some of their great big sweet like pumpkin stuff they have. And loads of garlic and onion, potatoes, lentils, buckwheat, rosemary, some of their traditional spices. Because it's, we've had an exhausting few days, haven't we, with that crossing? Yeah, and the camel and the riding, we're really is tired. Howling out there. Yeah. And luckily we're on this side of the island, and God knows what it'd be like on the other side. Really bad, so we're protected, thankfully, so it's not too bad. So I make a nice stew, stew, casserole for the posh ones. And uh, and have a bit of a restful day today, I think, and I'll we'll decide when we're going to move on. Is that a well-deserved cup of tea, Mum? Yes. <laughs> I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty sea dog, <laughs> We're sailing around the world on pickle. An old catamaran we bought and did up <laughs> after my major life-changing moment when I caught meningitis. Subscribe and enjoy the ride. Feel great. I still feel a bit sick. It's not. I don't get seasickness. So I think yeah. I think I've got Chris's bug, but I think I've got this bug, but I'm not getting really ill. So I just feel a bit poorly, makes me feel a bit sick. Sometimes I think if you get mucus in the back of your throat or something, it gets in your tummy, mate. I don't know. I feel sick though. And yesterday, sailing in that really huge, terrible weather and feeling sick made me seasick as well. Made me really, really sick. Yeah. So I'm just glad that we're we're protected anchorage and we're sitting here. We've had a little bit of um, side swell. A little bit, but it is going, keeps going back to this, which is fine. As soon as it calms down, we'll move on again. Because mm. obviously we've, we're on a time frame, we're always in a bloody time frame, aren't we? We've got flights booked to go fly back to England for Christmas. It doesn't matter if we miss them, it really doesn't matter. Because I got, I think, £7 I paid <laughs> per flight. And then I paid an extra, I think, twelve ninety nine per person for baggage. So that's about 80 quid in it, guys. So it doesn't matter for me, some, but we'd like to catch them. That's on the 13th of December. If we can make it to Rockella and win to a boat in time, we will. If we can't, we'll just rebook different flights. But if we can get up there in the next four weeks, we've got about four weeks to get up there. But we need to get there a little bit before because obviously this winterised job you have to do for winterise your engine, you have to like take all the sails down, you have to like clean things, you know. The, yeah, things there's things, there's provisioning to do. There's lots of work to do on your boat before you go fuck off and leave it for a few months. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm really tired. I, I'm really not with it. And it's weird, when I got in last night and we had a cup of tea from that before we went to bed, just biscuits and what have you, and I didn't even really remember anchoring properly. It was all a bit of a haze. I must be so tired. I must have been so tired. Because I was like, afterwards, I'm like drinking my cup of tea going, did I anchor further enough away from the shore? Like, if for some reason the wind turned, which it wasn't predicted to do, but if it did, would we be too close to shore? So then I had to start doing all these calculations and working out if I'd anchored right, because I just didn't remember. It was like, I think if I'd gone into, um, what do you call it, automatic, you know, like when you're driving sometimes. I was in autopilot and anchored. Actually, I've anchored perfectly. Everything's perfect. But... Yeah, I was like double checking and doubting myself because I was so tired. I just really couldn't remember. I just really felt terrible. But I slept quite well. I think Good. we all did. Yeah. I think we all got some sleep. I kept waking up. Waking up. Thinking, yeah, I'm going to sleep. No night shifts. Woo! <laughs> Go to sleep. The swell would wake me up and I'd go, oh yeah, come to sleep. <laughs> So I didn't get up to about half seven. And then I had to drag all my mattress and the mattress cover and the sheet and everything out because the emergency hatch under my boat, it's, it's like sealed. The, like, the seal, the silicon or whatever it is around it, it's like fouled on a corner. So it was in such rough weather, it's like hitting underneath the boat and it's all come up. So it wet underneath my mattress and down the side of the mattress. So that's all up there. I dragged it out this morning. Me and Bo dragged it out because Dad didn't get out of bed until late. So we dragged it out, didn't we, Bo? Yeah. And... Um, yeah, I think it's even dry. I'm just getting a look. It's been knocked around so much. It's bruised and damaged loads of my spinach. So it's going to go in a casserole. I'm not wasting it. 
I had some of this spinach this morning with some uh, grilled grilled tomatoes on toast. Oh my god, this spinach is the nicest, juiciest spinach. Honest to God, it's like it's just really lovely. And if I'm like lacking in iron or something, that's what I was like when I was pregnant. I'm like, oh, I don't spinach, but I'm not pregnant. What the hell? Um, yeah, this is just really lovely spinach. But that's true, so I'm going to use it so I don't get wasted. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. Bye. I'll show you outside. Yeah, go to my mattress, which I've put on the roof. Okay, so I'm going to have to be really close. Oh, there's a boat over there, look. Poor guys. But they've had a rough night. Anyway. So, that was wet. That was wet. That was wet. Oh, no. The yoga mat's going to come off. It's the mattress over there. And this is the mattress. Oh, it's still wet. Down there. Nice, beautiful sunny day. Really windy though. Yeah, I'm going to go inside because I'm freezing. Hi. Is it nice? Yeah. The best casserole you've ever made. Is it? You watch our put this in watch my it, mouth. Watch it, it's really, really hot. Really, really hot. Spicy. Yeah, a bit hot. Spicy hot or? Lovely. No, no, it's just warm hot. It's really lovely tasting. I put some Greek spices as well as Tunisian spices in there. I like mix it up a bit. Nice, huh? It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Looks Greek yummy. Spices. Yeah, yeah. Where's Greek? What do you mean? Where's Greek ones from? I put Greek spices that Joe gave me. Mm. Well, well. And they was really nice. So I thought, oh yeah, that'd go lovely. So there you go. And I got a bin. Oh, Daddy's got G and T. We deserve this answer. nice meal. A week one. Cheers. Yeah, cheers with a beautiful backdrop cheers. out there of those Sicilian mountains, cheers. lush and green. That's our Ibis factory, guys. We got some heat for the winter. I mean, it, it does this every year. It's a bit temperamental. It doesn't want to go, does it? If you don't use them, if you don't use them, you lose them. You say you've got to run them regularly. But and we don't, do we? Well done. Got it going. So what do you think it was? I mean, it's just here. Why? What's wrong with it? Is it a bit loose? Yeah, I came down and squeezed it, and it started clicking it, pumping it, pumping. Click, click, yeah, click, click, it click, click. Yeah, can you now? So when it's priming, it goes click, 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 click. Good. Runs on your diesel. Comes straight from the Ooh. straight from the um, tank where it what runs our engine as well. So we know it's good. And it vents into here. There. There's one into the other double cabin to the side. Make sure that's open. And then there's one into the saloon. So it keeps the boat nice and warm. Obviously, we don't normally have all these panels off in this room. But normally, all you do is go. All I do up here is switch my plug on up here, cabin heater, and then turn this to either heat, half heat, or you can just vent. If it's actually hot, you can use its ventilation system to cool us down. But there we go. And then it uses loads of volts. And you know when it's fired and it's running because it drops down. So just a few volts. Oh, that's probably more, more, it's probably using more amps than it's showing there because the wind generator is spinning quite fast at the moment because it's a bit of squalls going over. So it's obviously putting some in. So it looks like less is going out than actually is going out. But it, even even so, it's brilliant. And that's where it comes out here. Oh, that's nice hot there coming out there, guys. Oh, it be cold this winter. Nope, no. Woo! It uses about 20 amps. To start, to, to fire. To because it's got a glow plug and it's yeah, like heavy duty. Yeah. yeah. And then so it nice. uses about, say, in its fridge, about five amps. About five, yeah. Well, it's like, it's OK. It, it, when temperature is about... What is it? When the temperature's about 7 or 8 in here, we can get up to about, what, 15, 16? When it's being coldest. We've had it boiling in here. Not we've when it's being cold out, we haven't. You're never going to be in the Mediterranean with weather that cold, though, no. are you? That's in England, isn't it? Yeah. We've had it really warm. It's definitely, definitely enough for a little boat. That you know, have it on, it's just blowing cold air. Yeah, out. I just said that. And some people have these, have two of these, don't they? One on each side. Then the bigger catamarans. Anyway, that's what we've got, and it's yeah. brilliant. We love it, don't we? That's all we have. It's what a beautiful rainbow. Yeah, the big squall, and then the sun's back out. It's a beautiful rainbow. That was lovely, wasn't it? Wash the boat for us, give it a bit of a rinse down. Life at sea, aren't we lucky? Mm -hmm. the tornado. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? A tornado? There's, no, uh, some There's a rainbow. Got... 
Oh, there's Tony there. We ran to Oh my god. And it's really close, yeah. Um, oh, that's a, it is amazing, isn't it? That is amazing. Know, I like to be this close to one. <laughs> He's so close. I'm scared. It's, it's crazy. I've seen it twice now. How about that then, look? Tornado. Look, rainbow. Tornado? Rainbow. It's coming down further, Chris. So cool, man. I've got both in one lens now, look. Spinny M rainbow. <laughs> right for the boat. How oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty more clouds going over, so it might end up with some marmaduke, come on. Yeah, over there, beautiful, sunshine, clear, blue skies here. This land is classic clouds. Dramatic. <laughs> the drama that the sits on this clouds. side. You could see them when, when I was sailing up yesterday morning, you could see no clouds in the sky, then over the land you could see clouds forming. If you did done one of them quick shots, you know, where you see on TV where it shows clouds forming and disappearing yeah. really quick. You'd be there doing them, you'd be there to see it forming, and as it went off land, dispersing again. It's crazy, isn't it? I just it's took land. a picture of it. But that's not disappearing, is it? That? It's like it's you bigger. said. It is getting bigger. Mom. That's crazy. You can see it in the, the sea. Look. Oh, you can, yeah. Look, look, it's sucking the water up at the sea. Oh my god. Oh my god, it is. It's making water spin, isn't it? Crazy is that then? There's, that's, and there's a chest I want to be like you're an offering tender. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, I want to go over. Literally sucking the water. I wonder if the camera's picking it up properly. Can you see it's spinning the water, sucking it up? Yeah. Madness. Madness? Is it madness there? Yeah, madness. My camera don't pick it up, but it's spinning the water up. That is crazy. I've never seen that. I love it. I've never seen it. The top funneling down now. Look at that, it's guys. Not it's not losing power. It's going to touch down. It's Look down. at that. Look at the power coming out the clouds above it. Look at it going all the way up in the clouds. Look. Look. No, look. Up, 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 up it goes. I'm so glad I spotted that through my bedroom window. Right. Yeah. Look, it's dropping. Look, you see the middle breaking. Yeah. Look how big it is. Like a big snake going away through the clouds. Can you see it all the way through? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it, how that happens? A nice setting sun. Yeah. A second night here. Yeah. One day. Yeah. It's a lovely bay. Really lovely. Look at those beautiful mountains. about 20 past 12 the swell the bike boat was side on and it's really big swell like i don't know a meter and a half two meters swell it just rolled boat doo -doo 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 -doo, like that and it's been absolutely shit neither of us have got a wink of sleep so when we got up this morning half six to leave we we're exhausted but also very happy to leave because it's so bloody awful the swell out here is all right sand in it, part of it keeps trying to turn you around, but you don't even see it on camera, it's like pointless in it, telling you or showing it, because you can't see it. The camera's crap, or well, I'm crap at videoing it, I don't know, one of the two, one or the other. Anyway, we're heading actually from these little islands we're on now, across to mainland Sicily, and we're going to go in this big bay. Hopefully have shelter from any wind and swell which is coming. We will see. Good morning. Welcome to our south this morning. It's a big ass cave, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Really big cave. A natural, it's a natural phenomenon. Yeah. A natural whatever. That's asking to be explored, that one. <laughs> wonder where that catamaran is going. Nice to know we're not the only people out here though, isn't it? Not the only crazy winter sailors. There's a big ferry there. I bet it's really dramatic when you're really stood in there and the waves are going and crashing at the top in storms. Cute little lighthouse though. Glad to get past it, turn in a bit and get our sails up. Big rolling waves over that shore there, isn't it? Yeah, the journey can swell right up, isn't it? Yeah. 
wind's died, which is a shame. So we've got to put the sails away and motor. Quite big old swell though. Sicily was so lush and green and beautiful. Such a beautiful country. Can't wait to explore some more. So we sailed over from Tunisia, from here, Bizerta, all the way across a couple of days till we got to Sicily. This is Sicily. And we landed on a little island down here. We actually went to about there. We had a few anchorage we could have gone to, and we went to that one. And then today we've left there because there's a huge swell and we're just going straight up the coast of Sicily into this bay here. This big like horseshoe, massive very bay. And we're going to find an anchorage in there somewhere hopefully which is sheltered from the swell. So we're going today. Cool, huh? It's just spectacular, those mountains. So beautiful, the sun shining on them like that through the clouds. Really beautiful. So we are just coming up to Cape San Vito, which can be notoriously shitty in bad weather, but it's so mild today we've hardly got any wind at all. In fact, the wind's turned right round, and at the moment we're going directly into it, which again wasn't predicted, but that's okay. As we turn the corner and go back into that big round cove, horseshoe cove. We should uh, be able to get the wind and sail down there, which should be nice. The sun's out. It's cold over there, it's got his coat on, but it's not 100%, it's not 100% and it's sat in the shade, so it's more for him. I'm sat in the sun and I'm loving warm. In my shorts and t-shirt, thank you. Yeah, so it's been eventless, really. It's a shame the wind's died. But, um, you know, it's one of them, isn't it? At least it's not massive waves, it's just a big rolling swell. We'll get around this headland and hopefully we'll be that way on to the wind seat. We'll be able to sail that last 10 15 miles. Best sailing, a bit of engine, not the end of the world. The sun's out, it's warm, it's peaceful. Shame about the engine, I suppose. Even the swell's died right down. It's all calm, really, isn't it? And the backdrop, well, it's just breathtaking. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Look at those sweeping mountains down at those lush green plains. You can see these are volcanic islands. They're, they're just so lush and green. So full of life. I bet the fruits that grow on these islands are amazing. There's been a lot of this in the water today. I don't know if you can see it. Like, can you see that? really can you it's um loads of long grassy weeds in the water i don't know what they are i don't know if like the fishermen are dragging them up or if it's because of storms i don't know great big long line of it and that don't get me engine oh, i'm trying to avoid that anyway there we go that's what we're dealing with nice and close Clouds dropping over the mountains there, so dramatic. What a fabulous view. The sun's trying to break through. Come on, sun. I need the sun out to be able to dive in and check the anchors. I'm going to freeze to death. Look at that cool little castle on the headland there, and the gorgeous little houses right tucked behind the rocks in that cove there. Look, aren't they cute? So cool. I love it. It's beautiful. Okay. We come and it absolutely poured down, which is just bloody typical. And I haven't got my proper sailing on. This is actually let all the water through. It's only shower proof, this one. Um, so we're both wet, me and Dad. And then we got anchored. And we anchored deep because the boys could out. And you have to anchor quite a way off in Italy, I think. 
And then this fishing boat come over, shouting and screaming, and he's saying his nets are down, and we've anchored near his nets or over his nets or something like that. I don't know. So I don't want to be over anybody's nets, and um, I don't. I don't want to any locals if that's where they do their little bit of fishing. Although they shouldn't really fish along the line, the beach, should they? Where you anchor, but anyway, it's their beach, isn't it? Not mine. So we're just visitors. So we set up this end safe. So we've got this end, and we're going to anchor up here, away from his nets. So you know, at least it, at least it's sort of stopped pouring down. Although I'm already wet now, but it smells nice, though, doesn't it? Yeah. It smells like rain and pine and people's fires. Chimneys. Fires, yeah. Like it smells all, amazing. All Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's freezing. I've got the anchor knees checking, so it's my turn. Why isn't Dad going in? Daddy might go in. I'm going to check the anchor. It's my turn to check. She's top this up. Top list. Yeah. Top list anchor checking. In the front. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared for you. This is double rainbow. Oh my God, there's two rainbows. Up there and up there? Mm. Yeah, okay. It won't be cold. <gasps> don't worry, Mum. Don't die, don't die. Just don't think die. it won't be as cold as the silly owls. <laughs> oh, I bet it's freezing. <laughs> cold? cold? <gasps> Scared of making water, everybody. Don't be bad I'm such a bad ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, such, I'm such a soft ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lovely sunny morning here in Sicily but the clouds have come over a bit now through the night I had such a good night's sleep oh, it was so peaceful we just slept and it was so calm and we just slept and I kept waking up thinking this is so peaceful it's so quiet it was like you could hear a pin drop you can just hear the water lapping on those there I took another film pack too Aren't we lucky? Yeah. So lucky to be here. And now we are going to go for a little walk. I want to row over there because it's got a really light spot along there and I want to know why that's so light. Is it just like really shallow rocks or is it sand? I don't want to have a look. Um, also, I've seen Google Earth and this is really clear water normally, in the summer at least. So I wonder if it's because of the storms. I brought this up murky now because it's a muddy bottom so I suppose a bit of storm would make it murky quite easily. And then we're going to go over there and have a walk along that nice beach, stretch her legs, Put our feet on Sicilian soil. Nice torso you got there, Mum. Huh? Nice torso. Dad! You idiot. Side profile check. <laughs> Side profile check. This is white. It's so white over here. Yeah, sand, We're in the Amazon now. River, guys. <laughs> Guys, we're, we're going and it's gonna it's thundering already. We're gonna get absolutely pissed off. No one wants to be a raincoat. You will, no one's gonna listen to me. It's what, getting to rain. What if there's water? Do you wanna go back now? Before it gets too much? We're literally not at a tender. Yeah. No. Go then. Yeah, we can go back. No. We can go later on when it's passing. So it's just. No. Go the wrong way then. I want to just see what this clip it is. It's not. Might as well just keep going then. Cause if it pisses down, we're gonna get wet through. Mum, please, I don't want to go back. Please. We'll go back, Daddy. Yeah, Why is it good. so white here? I don't know. Mum, stop. You're freaking me the hell. Mum, if you tip this tender over, I've got my Polaroid camera in it. It's overlooking. It's not clear here. I don't know what you're on about. It's murky as old. It's white colour. Is that murky? You can't even see end up paddling water in it's the It's white colour. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Why is it so low there? not clear. Yeah, take me back out again. Yeah, good. It's you shallow. got them say there. I think it's shallow there. <laughs> I think it's the sound of the bottom you can see. It's a very muddy sound of the bottom here. <laughs> Leave your camera on the boat. No. Get our raincoats and we'll yeah, just walk in the rain. It... Everything off, isolated everything, and we put all our cameras 
on our cameras and um, oh, my our phones in the oven in a sat phone and everything yeah it's in the oven so hopefully it will act like a Faraday cage Faraday cage so nothing will blow up hopefully let's hope everything stays okay and let's hope we don't get struck by lightning anyway <laughs> I went right across the sky from my mask. This is so not funny. Mark my weather. What the? F I don't get it. What the? Hey, what is this? But I spotted the brown out through the window. Oh, sorry. What the? F <laughs> We're in a great big mud tide. This is the craziest shit. What's the mud tide? Look, it's, it's reaching the sea. This has got to be coming from inland. Mark. Okay, now, now I know. Look, look over there. What? Oh. It's washed no. the beach away. Oh. There must be massive water on the mountains and they've pushed all the water out here. Oh, there we are. Look, massive flood drain, isn't it? All the water's come off the mountains, isn't it? Why? Because it has been here, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the great big tree thing coming, washing, getting washed down. What? Maybe we should be moving. Look at it all. We do not want to be starting our engine now, do we? Jesus Christ. You remember he was, wait, he was wondering where all the wood and the bamboo comes from? This is where it comes from. Really bad. That what? is crazy. Yeah. That's really crazy. Look at it washing out to sea. Now we know why it's so murky here. Because every time it rains really bad, all the water runs down the mountain. Mom, I know that. And that's out through there, doesn't it? Right, Alfred, is it? Mom, why do wow. you... Wow. <laughs> that looks like a good cartoon. It looks like a cartoon. Cartoon clouds, yeah. No, wait. Turn, in, turn it into a cartoon. Yeah, this water does not run. <laughs> Mum, I've never seen this before. It's just crazy, no, isn't it? Yeah? Oh, we're not going to the beach today, guys. Look at that. No, we're not going to the beach. Wow, do you see that lightning? Oh, I'm, I'm Over there. Don't hold on to metal. There's lightning. Mum, what would happen yeah, if you fell in this? You get dirty. <laughs> I think you'll die. I think you'll be able to move. Look at it. All the water, fresh water curdling with the salt water. Look at it coming out of there. It's one beach, isn't it? Yeah. What? It would be better not being here, you know. Well, we can't move with mud. If any big trees come down there and get wedged in the boat, we are really in problems. Yeah. We are so past big rock All this, didn't we? tree floating past us. This has happened. You'll see other footage of this on off of Mum's phone, but currently we're on the Canon camera. Dad's pulling the anchor up. Mum's got the engine started. Yeah. on. <laughs> Hello, Bear. Bear's all prepared. It's beautiful here. It's just really, really dangerous. It's a big, massive log. I know. Right. I'm gonna. It's crazy. Bear, get in the cockpit, please. Mental, huh? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Look at the bloody island debris now. Thank God we got to pull that fucking tree into this. I know. That's a big tree as well. Could have. Straight out, Nicky, down, No, there's a massive debris island. There's a great big island debris Mom, there. Mum, go that there. way. Go on the inside of that. Go in this way. The other thing is you can't see how far these rocks extend out on this headland here. Can I? No. No. No, you can't. I'm going to go beside that debris island. Mum, there's another debris island. Right, give yourself that big stick. You know. Okay. So you just went, massive rocks. Big, big, massive rocks under. It's really shallow. There's things peeking out the rocks, peeking out the water. This is stressful. Can't imagine what it's like for mum. Mum, we're gonna get oh, big flashes. Oh, big flashes of lightning. My God. It's making me nervous. Warn me if there's anything big directly in front of me. I can't see. Yeah. I'm gonna go between the two big sticks. Do you hear me? I'm going between the two big sticks. I keep one to the start, but one to the pull. Oh, this is like, ooh, don't like it. Is that dodgems? Yeah. Dodgems, but is really that serious. Yeah, with fucking logs. Mum, you've got a massive sticks there. Look. I know, darling. Going around it, I just did that. 
we get to open water and then we'll decide where we come back in. Loads. Get in there, anyway. Yeah, the water's getting cleaner now. No, don't fall off. You, don't. Show here, look, on Navalley. A little bit. You see, that's got a taste for me, but that's showing you such a river head like that. And if you look on Navi on it, it's here, look. Torrent. Fucking idiot. I'm an idiot. Torrente. Torrent. Sarcona. What an absolute idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. And obviously, it's always going to be my fault because I'm captain, but I'm an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, that's anyway. That comes onto the beach. Bye, folks. Torrent, Torrenta, Torrenta River. I'm a torrent, torrent of trouble. <laughs> torrent of pickles. Always in a bloody pickle. Remember, follow us. Give us a like. It really helps. Thumbs up. Give us a share. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok if you're feeling cheeky. <laughs> and if you really love what we're doing and you want to help us keep making these crazy mistakes and pickling ourselves around the world, then you can become a patron and part of our family, which yeah. we love dearly. Thank you, patrons. You make it all possible. Follow the link in the description below. You'll find it. Just click yeah. down. See you next time, guys. Pickle. <laughs>